Impact of Mid Luteal Serum Progesterone Levels on Pregnancy Outcome in Fresh and Frozen Embryo Transfer Cycles in Women of Indian Ethnicity P. 30. Jasneet Kaur, Padmajan Aidu, Rani Kumkum, Nalini Mahajan. DOI 10.4103/toft.toft underscore 5 underscore 17. Context: Luteal phase defect has been identified in all assisted reproductive technology cycles, necessitating progesterone supplementation. Aims: The aim of our study was to assess whether mid-luteal serum progesterone (P) levels impact pregnancy outcome in fresh and frozen embryo transfer (FET) cycles. Settings and design: A total of 145 women undergoing embryo transfer (ET) were prospectively enrolled and received standard luteal phase support. Methodology: Serum progesterone levels were assessed for all the patients in the mid-luteal phase. Patients were divided into groups based on the type of ET performed. Group A, fresh ET and group B, fit. These groups were further subdivided based on mid-luteal serum P levels being below, group A 1 slash B1 or above 15 nanograms per milliliter, groups A2 slash B2. Progesterone levels were correlated with the clinical pregnancy outcome. Statistical analysis used, chi-square test was used for qualitative analysis, and student's t-test was used for comparison of means. Results, patients with mid-luteal serum P levels 15 nanograms per milliliter, group A1, in fresh ET cycles had a statistically significant lower clinical pregnancy rate, CPR, P equals 0.049. In FIT cycles, though there was no difference in the CPR, the percentage of biochemical pregnancies was significantly higher in the group with P levels 15 nanograms per milliliter, group B1, P equals 0.024. Conclusions, this study suggests that, in Indian women, mid-luteal serum P levels 15 nanograms per milliliter have a negative impact on pregnancy outcome in both fresh, CPR, and FIT, biochemical pregnancies, cycles. Individualizing luteal phase support by measuring serum progesterone levels might help to enhance pregnancy outcomes.